Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Karen Kennedy, and I'm here with Chad Popowell of MS Sedco. It's nice to have you with us, and thanks for logging on. Today, we are going to uh, talk about radio control products, the uh, MS Sedco Radio Control Product Showcase. So if we are ready, uh, looks like we've got a couple of people logged in. We'll go ahead and get started. Basically on our uh, radio control products, we start out with our ClearPath line of products. Uh, there are two different versions of the ClearPath family. We've got the standard ClearPath and the ClearPath Spectrum products. Uh, the Spectrum is our newest addition to the uh, radio controlled families. The ClearPath CPTX is our basic transmitter that goes behind a four inch square type push plate switch. A lot of these are commonly seen in areas where you've got uh, handicap access or uh, accessibility access, um, automatic doors. And the ClearPath CPTX is just the basic one-shot transmitter you see a lot of times where you've got a single door that you can hit a button that opens the door and will allow somebody that needs uh, assisted access to come through the door. Sure. So. Sounds good. Uh, the CPTX-J, which is our jam mount version of the CPTX, uh, is more for narrow style switches. A lot of times when you've got a, a storefront or a building where you've got a rail or you've got other uh, very limited places to mount a, a push plate, you can use a narrow style. A lot of times it will mount right to the mullion or a door jam. Okay. The door. So we offer this in a narrow style and the the box that's behind that uh, narrow style will house your transmitter as well as your battery that sends a signal up to your receiver that's up in the door header. So. All right. Sounds good. Uh, the CPRX is the receiver I just referred to. Uh, the receiving unit is what catches the signal from your push plate, making everything wireless so you don't need to run cables or uh, have hard wire. Um, and the CPRX typically will have a five wire terminal block that comes off of it. Uh, four of those wires will be used to interact with your door control. Two of those usually provide power to the receiver and then you've got two wires coming out that will go to your door control and tell it when to open the door. Alrighty, sounds good. So that's the ClearPath CPRX. So now we have the ClearPath CPTXP. Uh, the CPTXP is the post version of the transmitter. Uh, we sell a 608 series or a 628 series bollard post. Those bollard posts are commonly used when you don't have places on a wall that you can mount a, a push plate. So you put out a, a bollard or a post out in front of the door uh, within 12 feet of the door. Typically we'll mount to a concrete slab, sidewalk, that sort of thing. And the post transmitter will sit right in the top portion of that post underneath a cap uh, so that you can radio control the push plate switches without having to run a cable uh, underneath the concrete cool. and out to the post. All right, sounds good. And then the clear path CPSTX. Yes, the STX is the sequencing version of a CPTX type transmitter. Uh, these are commonly used when you've got a vestibule set up. Um, for those not familiar with vestibules, if you go into a bank, uh, you usually have an outer door and then a small alcove that uh, people can stand in waiting on a ride or uh, they used to have ATMs just inside the alcove. Uh, and then you've got another door that leads on into the lobby or the, the main area of the bank. That CPSTX will send two signals, one to open the outer door, one to open the inner door, and usually it helps to sequence those doors so you don't have them both open at the same time, letting out the heat or letting in cold air. Okay. Sounds good. And uh, the ClearPath radio control vestibule system. Uh, this is more of an overview of uh, everything that goes with that vestibule setup that we were referring to. Uh, you've usually got an outer push plate followed by a double push plate in the middle between the two doors and then another far interior push plate. 
Typically, the outer and the far interior have got sequencing transmitters on them. The dual push plate in the middle uh, has a standard transmitter. And you set these up to where the outer button will open the outer door followed by the inner door. The two middle ones will actually operate the two doors independent of one another. And you can set this all up so that they sequence coming in or going out, but somebody trapped in the middle can get either into the lobby or on out into the uh, outside. All right, we've got a question coming in, so I'm just answering that. Okay. And definitely feel free to ask questions if you get the chance and, and do have a question you want to ask regarding the radio control stuff. So the vestibule system uh, is kind of a complete package that we sell that will allow you to set up a vestibule where you don't have to run wire into any of your push plates and you have a receiver for each of the doors that you're operating. All righty then. Oops, skipped one. Did we skip one? Yeah. Here we go. Uh, the CPTX HH is a handheld version of our uh, radio control transmitter. Um, a lot of people carry garage door openers, uh, remote controls, that sort of thing for their own home use. These are similar in the fact that you can get a one button or a two button version of the handheld. Uh, if you've got one door that you want to operate, a one button will suffice. Uh, if you've got a couple of doors like the vestibule setup that we were referring to that you want to operate independent, you can set up the CPTX HH2, which is the two button version. Yeah, I'm just double checking here the broadcast. Okay. Uh, the ClearPath STRX is the Spectrum version. Uh, it's the newest edition. Uh, the ClearPath Spectrum operates at a uh, 2.4 gigahertz frequency, so it's a lot higher frequency and isn't compatible with the old ClearPath stuff. The STRX is our standard transceiver. Uh, it's similar to the CPTX, but for the ClearPath Spectrum family of products. And I'm trying to follow along with the questions coming in as well. Sure, yeah, we have a question. I'm just double checking if we're having an audio. Looks like we had a little bit of an audio issue to start, but it looks like it is solved now. So I think we are good. Okay. And again, if you have questions, uh, please feel free to click the question icon in the bottom of your screen, and uh, I will field yeah. those questions over to Chad to answer them for you. And if we do need to backtrack, I'm sure we can go back over anything that, that we may have already covered uh, if you guys had problems hearing it or anything like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, do let us know if you uh, were not able to hear the first couple of uh, slides or hear any of the presentation. We'd be happy to go back over that for you. Okay. All right. So let's see, what is next? Are we um, here? Basically, if you've followed the CPTX, CPTXJ, et cetera, it's kind of a similar feature. The STRX-J is our jam mount version of the STRX. Uh, it's a clear path spectrum transceiver that's mounted in a narrow style box for narrow style switches. And a lot of times these, again, are used in areas where you don't have as much room to mount a, a four inch square or four inch round or six inch round type of switch. All right, and I'm just answering that question here. Okay. Uh, the S-Core is the brains or the receiving unit of the ClearPath Spectrum family. Uh, the S-Core, which stands for Spectrum Coordinator, uh, coordinates all of the different actions that the sending units or the STRXs are telling uh, the brains that they want to do with the door. Uh, the S-Core is very versatile in the fact that you can set up different types of actuator switches or transceivers in order to interact with this, but they have to be paired to that particular S core in order to operate the door. Um, with the old ClearPass stuff, we had 12 dip switches that set a security code, so it was possible to set up 
two transmitters that would interact with the same receiver by accident. Uh, in other words, if you had one that you took right out of the box and somebody hadn't bothered changing the code, it was possible that you could buy one of the transmitters and open somebody else's door. Well, <laughs> uh, kind of like when your neighbor's uh, exactly. garage door goes open, right? <laughs> so with the ClearPath uh, Spectrum, because they have to be paired to that particular S-Core, you have to go through the process of programming it to that Spectrum coordinator. Uh, so it's not as possible or as feasible for somebody to just buy one and be able to open somebody else's door. You have to take the time to program it to that coordinator. So. All right. Sounds and, good. And then we've got, um, yeah, Don uh, said that he missed the first couple of slides. So maybe at okay. the end we'll go back to that. But if we're all good now, yeah. let us forge ahead here. Um, yeah, the, the STRX HH is a one button handheld version of the ClearPath Spectrum transceiver. There's only one button available on the handhelds because you really don't need a second button. Uh, if you want to use this handheld in order to open two different doors, you just program this handheld to each of the two coordinators you want it to interact with. So there's not a need for a second button on the handhelds for these. Uh, with the Spectrum transceiver handhelds, there's a setting in the S-Core programming that you can set up that it reduces the range so that if you've got two doors that are close together, you have the possibility of setting a reduced range. You can set the handheld to interact with both doors, but you've got to be pretty close to each door in order to interact with them. So you don't open both doors simultaneously when you hit the button. Okay. Um, so what, what's the range like? Then? Uh, usually the range for a reduced range is just a few feet, okay. uh, five or six feet away. So typically if you've got a handheld that you want to have a longer range, you can pair that handheld as a different type of device. You can set it up as an inside switch or an outside switch and the S-Core will recognize it as a different type of transceiver and not just the handheld. The handhelds have the reduced range built into the S-Core programming. So when you set them up as a handheld on the coordinator, it tells the coordinator, okay, we want it to react with a reduced range. If you set it up as an inside switch or an outside switch, it gives you the full range, which we typically test at uh, over 40 feet. So uh, if you've got- Wow, that's a pretty good range. Yeah, and with most of the automatic doors being set up to where industry requires you to have the button within 12 feet line of sight of the door, a 40 foot range is going to be plenty to operate most automatic doors. So even with uh, energy efficient glass or some other types of uh, construction on the outer door, you should still be able to get a signal through. Okay, sounds so. good. And it looks like we've had several people join us uh, recently, so I just want to say hello and welcome. I'm Karen and I'm here with, of course, you know, Chad uh, uh -huh. from MS Sedco, and we are delighted to uh, have you with us today as we are talking about the radio control products. Mm -hmm. So we will move ahead. And again, I'll, I'll reiterate what we've already said. Uh, if we do need to go back and cover any of the previous slides that we've already hit, uh, you know, feel free to ask us. We can talk about whichever product you might be interested in asking questions about. So. And there is a chat and question uh, icon at the bottom of your screen. So feel free to use that to ask any questions and I will pass those along to Chad. Okay. Uh, so with the STRX-V, uh, we have a vestibule type, um, which is a dual type switch. Based on the switch, you can see the arrows that point left and right up at the top of each of the, the narrow style push plates. Typically, this is in the middle of a vestibule area where you've got an outer door and an inner door. And you will program one of those to interact with the outer door. One will operate the inner door. So if somebody gets caught in the middle of the two, they can hit one to go out or the other one to go back in. And uh, this is just the Spectrum version of that. Uh, the picture that's shown on the slide shows our, our 59V-H type switch, which is sold separately. Okay, so. sounds good. Uh, the STRX-P is the post version of the Spectrum transceiver. Um, again, like we were discussing with the CPTX-P, the Spectrum transceiver is mounted on a platform that goes just inside the top edge of that post and is covered with a, a hard polycarbonate cap. 
but this eliminates the need for running cabling from the post, which is normally a few feet away from the door out on a, a concrete slab. Uh, so you don't have to run conduit or cabling. You can use this to operate the door without going to a lot of extra expense. Oh, that's install. amazing. So it's just completely wireless. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. So. And those can be programmed to operate multiple doors. If you do have a post that's sitting out in a courtyard someplace and you want to be able to hit the, the button in order to operate one door to the left and operate another button to open the door to the right, we do sell those with double transmitters in the wow. Spectrum transceiver post. Uh, and our 628 series bollards do come with uh, openings for two different switches. So you can actually mount it to open one with the bottom and one with the top type switch. Okay. Yes, sir. And again, the range on those? Uh, typically, we oh, test 40. those at 40 to 45 feet okay. uh, at our shop. I know when we were first developing the product, we took it out in the parking lot and we were shooting it across the parking lot. About 100 <laughs> feet, so uh, we shouldn't have any range issues with these. So it's working at 100 oh, feet? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. So. All righty then. And that kind of covers the basics as far as the ClearPath and the ClearPath Spectrum products. I know we kind of breezed through those pretty quickly. Um, there are a lot of different applications that these can be used for uh, different types of installations. And I'm sure any of the guys that are, are logged in uh, can probably attest to a lot of different types of uh, scenarios. If you have any specific questions regarding a, a type of installation, definitely give me a call. That's what I'm there at the shop for is to answer those kind of questions and give you some guidance in regards to how to install things, uh, how to pair things, et cetera. Um, but Are you there 24-7, any... Chad? Uh, no, <laughs> although sometimes 24 /7 I feel 24-7 like, technical support. Um, no, I actually uh, am at our shop from 8 to 5 uh, Eastern time. And I do have a cell phone that I carry for work that if you do send me an email or a call, I try to check those in the evenings occasionally and we'll respond. Uh, but typically, if you want somebody to answer a, a phone call and talk to you via you know, voice, I'm there eight to five most days. So. Sounds good. All right. Well, let's just go back and hit these first couple of slides um, sure. quickly. And for those of you who are sticking around, um, we will go back through maybe the first four or five slides since I think we missed some of those. Uh, for those of you who are not sticking around, we want to say thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to visit the website, mssedco.com. Uh, please check out the video on YouTube. Please feel free to call our good friend Chad anytime you have questions. Definitely. And I uh, hope you've got your chocolates and flowers together for Valentine's Day. So thanks again for joining us, for those of you who are logging off, and for those of you who are sticking around. Chad, let's take these first five slides one more time. Okay. Um, we start out with our CPTX, which is the uh, standard single-shot transmitter for our ClearPath line of products. Uh, as I said before, the ClearPath and the ClearPath Spectrum are two different families of products. The ClearPath CPTX operates at either 300, 390, or our proprietary free frequency of HDRC. Uh, the 300 and 390 megahertz frequencies we chose primarily to be compatible with some of the older technology that was out on the market when we first started marketing the, the ClearPath. But the CPTX is just the standard transmitter. Uh, we sell those in a variety of different mounting boxes. Uh, the one that's shown there with the CPTX is for our four and a half inch square type push plate switches. We do offer those in the CPTX R4, which is a round four inch type of push plate, and the CPTX R6, which is the round six inch. Um, they come in different and, colors too, don't they? Um, different finishes? Well, that's for the push plates. The The mounting boxes actually are just a uh, black polycarbonate type of mounting box. And the slide that's shown there does specify that uh, pictured with the 59H, which is sold separately. The 59H is our push plate part of that. So the middle part that's got the blue mm -hmm. and the white is our 59H push plate. The CPTX is the mounting box with the transmitter board, the battery, and the wiring harness. Mm -hmm. So, But the push plates are available. Yeah, the push plates are available in a variety of different finishes. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got our standard 59H, 59H SS, which is the stainless seal version of that. Uh, the 59P, which is a stainless steel that just has the text without the 
PDA logo on it. Uh, and then we also offer uh, custom finishes in like a uh, bright brass or um, a satin brass finish. We offer bronze, oil rub bronze type finishes as well. Wow. So. Yeah. So if design is important to your project, then that would be available for you as well. Yeah. All right. So. And the CPTXJ is one of those other type of mounting boxes we were discussing. Um, this is more for a narrow style installation when you've got less room, you might have a, a door jam or a guide rail that you want to mount a push plate to. And the CPTXJ comes with that narrow style box. Alrighty. And the CPRX is of course the receiving unit for the ClearPath products. Anything that you've got that has a CPTX or even a CPSTX, which is the sequencing version, will use the CPRX as a receiving unit. Uh, the receiving unit's typically mounted up in the door header near the automatic door control, and it sends the signal to the door to tell it when to open. Excellent. So, and the CPTXP is the Bollard Post version of the ClearPath transmitter. Uh, again, it mounts to a platform that sticks in the top edge of that Bollard Post. Uh, the baller post that we manufacture would be either a 608 series or a 628 series. Uh, the 628 has two push plates, one at the top and one near the bottom. Uh, a lot of times we refer to them as California post because California uh, was the first to legislate that you had to have handicap operators that were at floor level as well as at uh, between three and four feet in height. Um, that way if somebody is quadriplegic, paraplegic, uh, has limited use of their arms or their, their fingers, hands, uh, they can still bump it with a wheelchair or, uh, you know, kick it with their foot or something to that effect. So uh, because of California's legislation, we started offering a bollard that has the two different levels of the switches. And how many, do you know off the top of your head, how many states have that legislation right now? Uh, currently, I think California and Washington State have both uh, put it into legislation. Uh, I know California has been doing it for several years. Um, from what I've been told, Washington and maybe Oregon are, are putting it into practice. And I know several other states are looking into it. So we're do you getting, see that becoming more widespread? Yeah, we definitely get requests for it a lot more often. Uh, a few years ago when California first started putting into practice, it was kind of limited, but we're seeing more and more of it uh, as the years go by and people start opening up their uh, legislation to what works in other states. Okay. So, and you might be covering this already, but is there, is there a retrofit available? Um, we, it's not really a retrofit. I mean, if you've got one of our standard bollard posts out there, you can always, uh, How would you, know, you convert it? The easiest way would be to buy a new post that has the uh, the extra opening, the extra cutout with the bracket, so you can mount another push plate in there. But um, if, so you, the smart if you had go, to modify the post, yeah. you could actually take it to some place where they can cut another opening and, okay. and maybe put a, a bracket in there so sure. you can mount another switch if need be. But if someone's working on a design project right now, the smart way to go would be to... Uh, for new installs, the smart <laughs> way would probably be go ahead to and put a 628 up Get there. it in in the beginning. So, all right, sounds good. Let's see and, here. And the CPSTX that we briefly mentioned uh, just a minute ago is more of a sequencing transmitter. This is if you've got a, a vestibule or double door type setup where you want to be able to hit the switch and sequence two different doors. Uh, the first door would open followed by a short delay and then after a few seconds delay that you can set up on the transmitter board, the second door would open. Sounds good, Chad. I'm just going to uh, message the group here and see how we're doing yeah. with the slides. And the other thing to remember is on the webinars, uh, we record these and put them on our website so that somebody can go back and review them later if necessary. Um, if you do have questions about any of the ClearPath or ClearPath Spectrum stuff, definitely give me a call. Um, all right, folks, any other questions out there? Yep. I think we're good. 
All right. Well, thank you all again so much for joining us. It was a pleasure to have you. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to log on. Again, I'm Karen and this is Chad and uh, we thank you for joining us and have a fabulous Valentine's Day tomorrow. And uh, we will see you uh, in a, two months. Uh, two, yes? months. Yes. two months. Two uh, months. Log back on for our next webinar. Do you know the topic of that one yet? Um, I'm not for certain. I know it's we're following the, the door binder. So uh, the next section of the door binder, if I had a guess, would probably be uh, possibly our, our door beams or uh, another one of our peripheral products that are used with automatic doors. Okay. But, Sounds good. Well, we will keep you posted. And thanks again for joining us today. Right. Thanks, guys.